I'm gonna mess this up several times. Ruku Pinchacha. Ruku Pinchacha. Ruku Pinchacha. We're in Ecuador, Quito, Ecuador, and putting some of the Huckberry Top 10 through their paces. We've got a Flint and Tender 365 pant and a proof uh, 72 hour merino wool shirt, base layer, and a little hoodie. We're at uh, 14,200 feet, climbing up to 15,000 Ruku Minchacha. See if we can make it. It's a beautiful view, beautiful day to hike and put some of that Huckberry Top 10 through its paces. In this video, we're gonna go through the top 10. I'm gonna tell you what I think. So let's take a look at that Huckberry Top 10. Let's go. Today is Huckberry Day. And so I've got lots of Huckberry things. Some that I purchased, namely this travel backpack, 30 liters, although it's not really 30 liters. Did a review of this bag before. I bought this waxed trucker jacket. And then really, because I'm such a big fan of Huckberry, I reached out and they said, sure, we'll send you some more stuff. So I've had a lot of this stuff with me for the last month. Took it on several trips around the world, to Rome, to Ecuador, you name it. I've had this travel gear with me. Um, and so we're today we're going to go through the Huckberry top 10, the top 10 best-selling items plus a couple other of my favorites, but really the top 10 things on Huckberry. Let's get to it. All right. So like I said, the top 10 things from Huckberry. This bag is not on that top 10 list because it's not available, so you can't get it. But it is awesome. It expands from 27 to 33 uh, right now, so it's never really 30 liters. Right now it's expanded to 33 because I've got the top 10 things on there. Links in the description for all of the more details, things to buy, uh, all this stuff. And again, it's the top 10, but a couple of little things that are in that top 10 list that I have right here. We'll show you all that stuff. Let's get to it. Number one on their list is the flannel lined, very cool waxed trucker jacket. This is the one I bought. Have it, I've had it for a while, not terribly long. It does gonna show some nice patina. I'm a big fan of waxed canvas. I've got several waxed canvas things. This is the uh, GR1 that I have, which, you know, Huckberry does sell a lot of GORUCK stuff on there. So this is the only thing I really can't carry with this because it matches, but I can take my dark oak GORUCK bag with me uh, because that nice little contrast, I think, would be, would be perfect with this color. This is the waxed trucker jacket fantastic they've got a lot of new jackets come out recently and you're gonna want to check them out because they have a lot if the trucker jacket is not your style you'll see plenty more on their website for you to check out um, one thing they added this year and they did send me this to look and I haven't put as many miles on this but this is a relaxed wax canvas and this is in different colors this is cold so this is cool I'll definitely be putting miles on this, probably on the motorcycle, just to wear it. They've got a couple of good articles on Huckberry, uh, like, you know, ride around a motorcycle and stuff. And so this is gonna be the, again, warm weather stuff, fall jacket, it's fall. Definitely get your hoodies out, get your jackets out, but number one on the list, definitely cool. Had this for a while, worn this for a while. Big fan of the fit and just the classic look of it. Fits with jeans, khakis, you name it. But this is awesome, the waxed canvas truck jacket number two on their list is a 365 pant and so i got a couple couple pairs of them this is a you know kind of just a general khaki brown uh and this is just an olive color this one actually i forgot to wash these so these were on me all weekend uh this is the only pair of pants i took fantastic stretch look cool classic enough you can dress them up dress them down awesome again i'm not a model so i'm not going to put these pants on for you but again there's videos of me um, things that i was doing i actually um, wore these all weekend in seattle this pair of pants i actually wore all weekend in ecuador hiked up and down the mountain in these pants so these are good enough for around town and then also hiking uh, do whatever you want 365 pants flint and tender awesome can't say enough about the pants 
Uh, and again, I wore them everywhere. Number three, <laughs> handsome leather slip-ons. Uh, not really my style. So no, I don't have those in this bag. Um, and I'll pass on number three. Just again, not my style. So they'll have whatever you want on Huckberry. It's, it's not all gonna fit your style, but somebody, I'm sure it does. Number four, 72 hour Merino wool collection. And that stuff is awesome. And this is one color I got. I do like the Heather version. Again, these all been washed probably four or five times on this one. I've got the other color underneath this. And this is the uh, lightweight hoodie version. It's just super lightweight. Um, I just wear it all the time when I travel. It's a nice layer for whatever you're doing. It has nice um, little loops so you can kind of use it as a sun shield when you're outdoors and hiking. And so I wore this in Rome everywhere just to keep the sun off you. I wore it up and down the mountain in Ecuador because I wanted a little bit of shielding from the sun and wind. So it provided a little bit of warmth at altitude. It was super cool. So Merino wool's got a ton of great features. 72 hours, you could wear this stuff for 72 hours. It doesn't retain any odor. Um, I've washed and dried these things at least three to four times each. And it's just holding up fantastically well. You could not dry it and it will last longer. I just wanted to beat the heck out of it over several trips to see how it um, has fared. And it's been great. It hasn't shrunk, true to size. I'm generally a, a large to medium person, um, large in t-shirts and all this stuff. Large is definitely the way to go. If you're a large t-shirt, get a large and all this Merino wool stuff, it's fantastic. So that's cool. 72 hour Merino collection, big, protect the thumbs up. Number five is the perfect tailored jacket. Again, not my style. I don't have a need for a tailored jacket, but if I would, I would try to get that one and try it out to see if it fits you. It doesn't fit my style, so I didn't try it. So that's two things on the top 10. That, eh, it's just not me. Next on the list is another t-shirt, but this one's Cotton Supima. Pima crew. Anyway, I've had, they sent me a couple of these t-shirts again, large for me. I got this just standard blue Navy. Um, and then this one's just a dark gray, uh, very classic, washed them both several times, holding up their shape. Um, they're just comfy t-shirts. It's like the, probably the only t-shirt um, you ever need. They've got a deal. If you order several of them, fantastic, cool, no issues with the t-shirts. Again, washed them several times. They're holding their shape, not shrinking. Can't say enough. Super comfortable. It's the only t-shirt you ever need. And I've had several t-shirts from different brands before, but the Huckberry 45 brand is the 45 is the brand that they have on Huckberry and I would definitely go check them out. Number seven on the list is not software. It's actually a knife. And again, Huckberry has a ton of different things in different uh, realms. They've got knives, they've got drinkware, they've got shoes, they've got backpacks, they've got clothing, they've got all the stuff. They actually have GORUCK backpacks and they have the Huckberry brand. In fact, that's the patch you see on my bullet ruck. It's the one that says, see you out there. That's just the tagline that I have adopted lately because it's awesome. And so anyway, one of the things they came out with is the James brand. If you're not familiar with the James brand, you need to go check it out. They've got a lot of great stuff. This is another daily knife that I have. And when I do my EDC videos, you're gonna see more of this stuff, but the James brand, definitely big fans of their stuff. Well, there's a Huckberry knife that they came out with that is the redstone and it's very cool and nice subdued outdoor colors. I actually have another redstone that I bought with the uh, Topo Designs um, collaboration. So I already had one and then when they came out with this little Huckberry and James brand lanyard, it just looks awesome. It's got the little branding on there. So awesome. So definitely go check this out. I love the color. It's perfect. That's the everyday knife. It fits in all my bags. Perfect. Except if you're going to the airport, don't put a knife in your backpack. If you're going to the airport, don't do it. Back to the backpack of things that are in there. And it's another pair of pants. And this is the Rover paint. Again, I've traveled with this one as well. This has a different texture to it. More of a canvasy look to it, not waxed canvasy. It's a little more articulated. Um, definitely a little, it's got stretch in there. It's definitely got a nice classic look 
a little more casual, I would say, than the other 365s, but the Rover pant, again, just awesome. Had a couple washes on this, held its shape, super comfortable. You could wear this all weekend, no problem. Definitely a big fan of the Rover pant, just like the 365s from Flint and Tinder. Now we get onto, again, it's fall. This is actually number one in my heart. You've seen this in a lot of videos. Uh, on my travels, this is the 10-year collection, the 10-year hoodie. So first of all, it's a fantastic color. This one's in you know, like a rust orange and super soft inside. Again, I've got several washes on this thing already. Um, it's held its shape, it's not shrunk, it's fairly cool and it's just awesome. And I do love this hoodie. Um, I've got several hoodies from different companies and if you wanna see a hoodie throw down, leave me a comment down below. I can do more about that. But American Giant is another brand. I've got several weights of their hoodies as well and those are gonna last forever just like this. So this I would say, you know, the standard American Giant hoodie, if you have that. They also have a light, they have actually a mid-weight hoodie as well. This is somewhere in between. So it's sort of in between their midweight and heavyweight of the American Giant. This fits in between. But the durability and the feet and the just everything that's on there <laughs> is awesome. Um, definitely gonna have this for more than 10 years, if you ask me. Um, ask me in 10 years if I still have it. Hopefully the channel is still going uh, in 10 years. This next little thing, and it's number 10 on their list, is uh, the only thing that I'm not super stoked about. This is the Unico Hiker, and it's by Naglev, and it's got Kevlar in it, and it is indestructible. And it's meant to be, um, you know, it's sort of got a, you know, a definite more aggressive climbing slash bowling shoe. I, I didn't say that, but it's just got a different style to it. It does, it does look really cool. It's really aggressive. Uh, got a nice little aggressive tread on the bottom, and I have worn this around. I put about five miles on this thing with the ruck, so underweight. Um, first of all, it's you know it's a hard sole, you know, hiking shoe, and so it fits sort of like that. It doesn't fit like the Mac V1s, sort of like a slipper. This fits more locked in um, and just definitely thicker. So I plan to put more miles on these things to see if they kind of loosen up a little bit. But right out of the box, they're a little harsh on my feet. I didn't get any blisters. Um, so they definitely fit well. They've got a nice little sock liner, but it's Kevlar. Man, this thing is, you know, if you were to, if you were to dial these suckers in and wear them on the trail, you, they would look just like this after probably 50 miles on the trail. They are that well built. So definitely check them out. It might not be for everybody. The style is, you know, more aggressive, not super stoked, but I'm definitely going to put more time on them to see if they sort of loosen up over time. That's the Unico Hiker from Naglev. All right. Some, uh, other random things, I've already told you about the backpack. I did a review on that, and so that is awesome. This hat, this is their waxed trucker hat. It is cool, I've worn it um, a little bit. I do love the logo, it just says outdoors to me. It makes me wanna go outdoors. This last thing is super cool, and when I saw it, I was like, okay, um, this is the American Mountains collection from Whiskey Peaks. And they've got this collection of, this is the American Mountains. They have different different collections, but this one is the American Mountains. So I've got Mount Rainier, super cool. And you can see that out there. It's just got the relief of that. And you got a Mount Whitney. That's the bottom of Mount Whitney. And a Denali and a Half Dome. So those are the different peaks, mountains that are just pushed up in relief in the bottom of the glass, so it's super cool. And it just looks really, really cool with a little bit of your favorite, maybe Jack Daniels single barrel, uh, whatever you have in there. We'll sip that maybe a little bit later, but it just looks super cool, the fact that you have the mountains in there. And uh, Mount Rainier, I'll just be seeing the top of that mountain sometime in 2023 with a bunch of my buddies, so more on that later. So there you go, that was my final thoughts on the Huckberry Top 10. A lot of fantastic stuff there at Huckberry. Hopefully you go check it out and link down below. Um, you really can't go wrong. Um, everything I've ordered from them has been awesome. Some things maybe not for me, as I pointed out in my top 10, but uh, everything else has been awesome. Great travel clothes, great everyday carry stuff, access to your GORUCK stuff, and some James brand, some great drinkware, barware, you name it. 
can't go wrong with Huckberry. Big fans of everything they're doing, and I'm sure they'll continue to acquire things from Huckberry and continue to review it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Outdoors, hopefully, um, and hopefully as awesome a place as Ecuador. Keto Ecuador. That's the easier way up. I didn't take the easy way up. I walked. We're gonna call this Enough. Not going that last little bit. Holy. Got the Huckberry top 10. All of it on. Actually, I don't.